The Short Center for Athletic Excellence is the next step in assuring that we have the resources and the facilities to compete at the highest level, both from an academic and athletic standpoint. It was important for Kelly and I to, to buy a brick because we're investing in the future. We're investing in our student athletes. We're investing in our infrastructure. And certainly we're investing in the things that our student athletes need to be champions. To purchase your personalized brick benefiting the Schwartz Center for Athletic Excellence Building Fund, call the Hurricane Club at 305-284-6699 or visit youhurricaneclub.com. season has made great decisions. To the far sideline, he got the first down. Good decision by Ja'Cory Harris. Things that jump out on the back, shoulder throws. And it's the third touchdown pass of the afternoon for Ja'Cory Harris. Ja'Cory, the season has been fearless. He waited till the last second and sacrificed his body for his football team. And most importantly, he really enjoyed doing it. Things have been good this season, but it always wasn't that way. The year before, Ja'Cory had a tough um, year. You know, definitely tough out in the first two years. Um, threw for a lot of yards, but yeah, had a lot of turnovers. I wasn't here for Ja'Cory's first three years, but there were so many ups and downs and inconsistencies. My freshman year was good, and my sophomore year was good until I was doing great until I broke my finger and everything, balls that I thought were going one way went another. So things started going downhill. Don't forget, sometimes outsiders or the media or the community put expectations on a young man uh, that pale compared to what the young man wants to achieve. The expectation we all expected to come in and win multiple national championships. We came from the best high school in the nation and we had the best players in the nation. It's almost like a child star, you know, he's kind of growing up in the limelight and everything that he did wrong, or everything that most of us would take as a learning moment uh, was on center stage. What made me down was that you would actually have guys, like fans that once were, oh, we love you, Ja'Cory, when I was up for the Heisman throughout the whole year, I was up for the Heisman. And then you see the fans quickly turn when things aren't going your way. Last spring, Ja'Cory and I went to get some sushi after, I don't know, a practice or something. We were sitting outside and the waiter had kind of recognized Ja'Cory, who he was. I guess the chef or whoever the guy was um, took the, the spicy mustard and wrote no INTs on my plate, on my food, and then Whipple lost his mind. I was kind of like, you're going to let that happen to you? I mean, I was kind of mad for him, but he was just like, no, nah, man, it's not a big deal. I had to tell Wilp, I was like, you understand, I go through a lot worse things than what you see right, just right there. So, you know, that doesn't bother me. It kind of taught me something about him as a, as a player and a person that uh, just the unshakable self-belief that he has in his ability to play the game as a quarterback. He doesn't really let get, things get to him like that. Growing up with my friends, growing up around people in the neighborhood, you go through things that's way worse than, than somebody talking about you. Those things shouldn't matter to you. You shouldn't even have those things in your mind. As long as you know who you're playing for, my family, my friends, they're more than happy to see me at the University of Miami, getting my degree December 15th. And if I disappoint them, then I'm, that's when I'm disappointed. I think that's what his shaping has been, you know, he understand that people are people is real. People are real. They gonna voice their opinions and they have opinions. But at the end of the day, the, the thing I need to concentrate on is am I getting better and, and believe in myself? I think this year he kind of let it go. You know, he kind of said, 
um, I'm going to give up that part of it and I'm not going to worry what people think and I'm not going to worry about what the media. I'm truly going to trust that if I adhere to this process and trust my teammates and coaches that in the end the product will take care of itself. It's a beautiful ball. Absolutely beautiful ball. Beautiful ball. The maturity from week one of spring ball till the end of the season that I've been with them, I've seen a huge jump. The reason why my confidence level has increased is because how much Coach Fish trusts me. Who is it, the Will? He was, yeah, right. yeah. so McGee goes over the top, so that means that whole area should be open. The biggest jump I've seen is his knowledge, his knowledge of our system and what we're asking him to do. And the more knowledgeable he is, the more he's empowered to do more. Coach Fish letting me know he has my back by basically just calling the play. I remember the first time he did it just was like twins right reader. He gave me a formation and a protection, and I was like, what the rest of it? He like, you call it. Because he's been empowered to do that, he works harder to do it more. And it's kind of a whole, you know, chicken or the egg effect, and I, I don't know which came first, but I do know that because of the fact that he's been given some power, some leeway, and some ability to make decisions that can affect the game, he's going to make sure the decisions he makes are going to affect it in a positive way. Nice job, Ja'Cory, great ball. Beautifully done on cover one. Double left H, lefty, 2.8 shocker. Oh, were you high-fiving me? No juice. Coach Fish and, and the relationship that him and Ja'Cory both have is, I think, one of the biggest reasons why Ja'Cory has uh, improved so much. They're going to push the inside now. You're going to have to slide. Yeah, now your yeah, inside this week could be. It's the opposite could, of last yeah, week. Yeah, the <laughs> Exactly. Coach Fish and I meet together by ourselves every week just to go over the game plan. If you show a certain interest in that person, then they're going to spend more time with you. You're going to build more trust together. There's going to be more of a respect. And in regards, they're not going to want to let you down. And you're not going to want to let them down. Every day, Ja'Cory and Coach Fish are always talking. It doesn't even necessarily have to be about football. A lot of times, it, we just go in the meeting room and just start talking about life. You know, how's class? How's everything doing? And uh, how's the family at home? You know, that just says a lot about Coach Fish. He's just a uh, fun guy. And um, he cares about you. And you can tell that and you can feel it. So it makes us, you know, more comfortable and more confident in ourselves. There can be coaches that are too serious and when they walk into the room everyone just kind of tightens up and doesn't allow the players to be who they are as people. When he comes in everyone just stays relaxed and the quarterbacks you know we're able to laugh and have fun in the meeting room and at the same time also learn and get better at the position. Yeah this was embarrassing for the Vin. I mean one way or the other right one way or the other somebody please. I hope to have a nice relaxed relationship with the players that I coach and I think it kind of helped uh, with Ja'Cory and all the things he was going through from the year before. Without a doubt, Ja'Cory has grown and, and so much having so much confidence in himself and in the teammates around him. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of the plays that we have this year, we couldn't run last year. Uh, a lot of jump balls with Streeter, we couldn't run that last year. Harris, the Tommy Streeter! The confidence came from the coaching staff. The confidence that Coach Fish instills into Ja'Cory each and every day at practice, it just helped in the season. Listening to Coach, how he preached and how he's empowered him, has given him the freedom to lead. I mean, it's, you can't lead without trust. You can't lead without love and care. And I, I got I to gotta first trust you and, and put you in that situation and do that. And I think he feels that from Coach Golden. And I think that's why he brought up in the meeting, Ja'Cory had brought up about, hey, I wish I had another year. Since day one with uh, Coach Golden and his staff uh, coming on the campus, uh, things kind of felt a little different. Uh, things felt like, you know, stuff was going to change, you know, things were going to be, you know, going well. I'm someone who don't regret anything that happened in the past, but at the same time, I really wish, you know, that I could have this year again, or even this would just be my junior year, because the things that I see coming in the future is, is all promising. It was emotional, because you could hear a pin drop at that moment. I think he knew that everybody understood exactly what he was saying and, and uh, certainly I was grateful that he said it and, and honored that he said it and I only wish that he had another year with us. Everybody on this team has grown as a person, as an individual and um, you know, it's just, I'm just going to be happy to watch you guys next year you know, on the field. You know, I bleed orange and green. I'm a hurricane till I die. I got a tatted on me. You know, I, I love it.
nothing here that, that I, I'll take back. It's not one moment that I give up. It's, you know, I just appreciate all you guys, and I appreciate just being a part of this, this team, and I like where it's going. To have another opportunity to play with these guys is something that I'm sure a lot of the seniors would want. We don't have that opportunity, so we want to cherish it right now, and we want to spend the rest of these days, you know, having fun with them, winning, having fun, and just, you know, enjoying their presence. I hope we've we've made an impact on him as a as a young man, as a person, and and because uh, I think he's made he, you know he's made an impact on us, and uh, he's left an indelible mark on our program, and and uh, certainly left us with an incredibly positive legacy.